So we're going to look into how we're going to download uh, and work on Hotonworks Sandbox. So uh, and work on Hotonworks Sandbox. So Hotonworks is one of the enterprise web provider for Hadoop uh, ecosystem. So directly go here and download and install. This is the link you should go. Usually the UI will be updated now and then, but uh, usually you'll be able to figure it out. So click this link and uh, the sandbox it will give you two options the vmware virtual box i installed a uh, virtual box from oracle so i'm gonna just go ahead and do this and uh, it's uh, actually a four point i think it's 4.5 or 8.5 gb i'm not sure about it let me see i think it is Okay, it is it's uh, nine GB, nine point one seven GB. So download that, it will take uh, close to one hour. Uh, based upon uh, the internet speed you have, it's a very good speed. It usually takes one hour to download it. And once you have that ready, you go ahead and download Oracle Virtual, Virtual Box from this link. Oracle Virtual Box for Mac. Oracle Virtual Box for Mac. Right here, go ahead and download this uh, AMD 64. And it will be self-explanatory and will be having the icon. So this is the icon. So usually what I do is once I download the sandbox, I make uh, I just keep the copy of it, and I make a copy out of it and just work on that so that I don't end up in downloading another version if I just mess up the one of these versions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a specific version for this particular demo, and name it as uh, HTB demo. Hold on. Hold on. Ta da! Okay. So I'm going to name it as uh, HTTP demo. And once you open the virtual box, go ahead and I already have two appliances here. So it's called appliance, import appliance. And go to the location where you have just created this uh, new. Uh, virtual box and this is the demo and continue and just name it as demo for my purpose see the os type it's that hat set os for uh, 8, uh, 8 gb ram i guess and then nothing else so import it it will take close to two minutes Now you can see the demo appliances, um, the demo showing up in one of the appliances and now we will go ahead and start it. This will take a while like 30-40 uh, seconds or maybe a minute and uh, you will be presented, the, the logs will be presented. It will show the starting and the status of uh, various uh, Hadoop components like uh, the HTTP, MySQL, you can, big, you can see the Ambari, Pig and Hive showing up in some time now here. The Flume, the logging system, the PostgreSQL. So it's just uh, printing out the logs for the key components that make the Hadoop system um, yeah and the Ambari server is currently starting and then the OZ starting Ambari agent. So you can see the various uh, processes are getting kicked off uh, when the server starts. So uh, it will take a minute as I said before. Let's wait for that. This is the last set of logs you will see and this means that um, your server has started without any problem. Now go ahead and hit this URL whatever they have mentioned here. HTTP 127. So 
127.8888. So this is being served by the sandbox whatever you just imported. And the first time login, you need to some do some configurations like, for example, we can log in through the FHS client. The default ID is uh, root, and the password default password is Hadoop in all lower case. And now you reset the password to your own new password. So now you're all ready. So if for example, if you run your command like LSL, you can see, and if you want to query the HDFS system in this uh, server, just just type Hadoop F file system and then followed by LSL, LS, sorry. Um, this is the Hadoop file system within the server. So this is how, uh, this is how you just bring up FSH client. You can exit it. You can even connect it from the Mac. For example, from terminal, you can just choose the connecting to the remote connection, new remote connection, secure shells, select this, and the user is root. And uh, I think the port, yeah, this, this is how you connect it P2222 because it doesn't run in the default 22 port. So go ahead and connect it. And once you give in your new reset password, your internet mission, and uh, um, again run the command and see whether it's all good. Hadoop file system ls. So this gives the list of your all your uh, Hadoop file system. So this is how you connect to the uh, local uh, sandbox through SSH. What else? Okay, now. This is the key thing. You should reset the password of Ambari. Ambari is where you control almost everything in HDFS. So just execute this command in the terminal. You can do it either in the browser or in the terminal. For the same. Please set the password for admin. Usually what I do is I just have the same password for the root and admin. So it's ready to start, and uh, it'll usually start in the 8080 port, I guess. Let me check. Yes, correct. Yes. It'll start in 8080 port. Waiting for server start. This will take. Yeah, this is this is good. And now go ahead and hit the URL, and you get it. So you are an admin, and your password is what you just set up. Sign in. There you go. So you can see that uh, um, you have almost everything what you want to do with Hadoop uh, through Hotton Box. You have map reduced to yawn, hive, pig, scoop, Uzi, zookeeper, flume, atlas. And even you can even just go ahead and uh, scan through the HTFS file. For example, if you go under temp and create a new, um, say into the go into the hive folder, sorry, go to temp, create a new directory, and say the name is Vinod demo, and create it. Go back to your terminal and uh, just. Query the temp folder. See, you're able to see Node demo here. So this is how it. You can either do it through terminal or uh, through the Ambari front end. Um, almost every provider of Hadoop, like Cloudera, Mapar, they have equivalent uh, applications in the front end, like Queue in uh, Cloudera. That helps you control the uh, file transmission, file permission, file upload, download, everything to the front end itself. So, this is, these are the basic things you can do with the sandbox in the beginning. Next video, we can see about the pig and hive. 
how to use them what are the uses what are the use cases you can think of using them bye for